My name is Morris Gould. I'm the executive director here at the Galveston Railroad Museum. This was an active railroad passenger station up until April of 1967 when the last passenger train departed. The foundation went out and acquired a number of pieces of rolling stock. The museum has approaches 50 pieces of rolling stock, passenger equipment, freight equipment, locomotives, cabooses. Hurricane Ike's damages, depending on the location at the property, eight to uh, 11 foot of water. This is the Anna Kappa. This is our, our prized palace car. A number of presidents had been on this car. Truman, Eisenhower, President George W. Bush in the 80s. This car, it was completely self-contained. It, you could live on it. It had its own air conditioning, heating, water system. It uh, s sustained tremendous amount of flooding damage. We did suffer wind damage from the 100 mile an hour winds, but it was the sustained uh, saltwater flooding that created most of our problems. Okay, we're standing in the main waiting room of the original Union Station. This building sustained over eight feet of floodwaters for a number of hours. Uh, the museum used this space for weddings, parties, receptions, uh, a number of events. This room uh, generated about 40 to 45 percent of the museum's income. I think we had uh, 17 display cases in this, in this building that we lost all, all of that. You know, we're just, I don't know what much more to go from there, waiting for the funds to restore this place, to, to, to uh, re renovate it, bring it back. Our attendance since I've been the director at the museum, steadily increased, and we were approaching the 40,000 visitors per year just prior to Hurricane Ike's landfall in September of, uh, of 08. It took uh, time for us to grasp exactly the detail that FEMA wanted what the on the description of repairing, replacing, or doing the actual work. It just took us a while to, to understand exactly what they were asking for. And once, once we got in that frame of mind, it became a lot easier uh, working with the representatives on the damage repairs of the museum. 